We're very excited, you know, from, we've been waiting for this uh, since uh, May 19th, the last game against Butler, and, you know, we re revamped some things, and, uh, you know, a lot of first-year guys getting experience last year, and, and we want to take that right into this year, and, and with the depth on the mound, and, and uh, you know, the focus on defense, and, and uh, it's really going to be a, a big difference this year than it was last year. Um, I didn't get a lot of a chance to do a lot of homework, so I'm going to kind of be you know, skating through here. But as I look at the headline, pitching, you'd say it's going to carry you. Talk about the depth. You mentioned it a little bit, the depth in the pitching staff and how that's going to help you. Well, I think the depth, you know, whenever you can, you know, put out on the mound, Aaron Swenson, former pitcher of the year, uh, Phil Klein, last year's first team all-conference pitcher, and then have someone like Eric Marzik coming in closing out the game, uh, you know, I think we have a good edge. Uh, but then adding... Uh, with the with the experience of Cody Durth from last year, um, and then with the additions of Kevin McCullough, a uh, local product from Boardman, um, you know, and Blake Aquadro from Tennessee, a left-hander, guys that just know how to pitch and get outs. Um, but the numbers, you know, we, we were short in numbers last year on the mound, where now we're... Uh, we, we have the numbers and, and the quality to put along with the numbers. Also, now your third year, correct? How does that help? Because the expectations, these guys know what to expect from you as opposed to the first couple years where you're kind of, they're getting their feet wet with you and you vice versa with them. Well, I'm getting used to them as well. You know, it's a two-way street when it comes to that. And, uh, you know, plus that I, I get to know the league a little bit better. You know, the, know what, what's the strengths and weaknesses of each team. Um, you know, trying to figure that out and, and a little bit more experience on that end. We always talk about this, but being a baseball team that plays in the north, what are the adjustments and things you have to go through as opposed to a team who plays in the south in the warm weather all the time? Well, we, you know, we are inside. We're trying to get outside as much as we can. Uh, we try to do as many uh, in-game or game type of uh, drills, um, whether it's, uh, you know, working on uh, picks at second, and, you know, we get, uh, as soon as the pitcher, say, throws to the plate, we have ground balls going to both shortstop and second baseman. So try to do somewhat of game, game-like uh, situations. Uh, you know, but like I said, we're trying to get outside as much as we can. Um, and then we'll try to get down to New Orleans to open up the year, you know, a day or two beforehand try to inter-squad a little bit before that, too. Before do, you, do you view that first week or so, I mean, I'm sure you obviously you want to get wins and whatever, you know, but do you view that as kind of your preseason, so to speak, or what did you, what's your take on that? It's, it's uh, we got to get wins. You know, we're, we're not uh, trying to have the, the highest batting average in the league or the, score the most runs. We want to get Ws. And, uh, you know, I think that, um, you know, New Orleans is a big test for us, but, um, you know, I, I think that, you know, we are trying to get dubs. You know, we're trying to get Ws, and, and uh, you know, we're putting our best nine out there for that day and uh, make adjustments from there. What are the things early that you feel like, I mean, maybe you'll be surprised by or not, but what are the things early that you're going to have to overcome to get those Ws early on? Um, I just think, I, I think we have to have that confidence. You know, last year having 12 one-run losses, you know, is a little tough, you know. So when the game's on the line, I think we have the experience now of going through that that's going to help us uh, in the later innings, you know, to get the Ws. I think last year really helped um, in overcoming, hopefully, for this year. But I think that, you know, we're going to play hard every day, and, and we're going to run out every base. We're going to run in and out of the dugout. Um, we're going to take out guys at second we have to. We're just we're going to play hard, and, and that's what this team does. That's what I expect. The more you do that, the more W's will come your way. Are they taking on your personality a little more, do you feel like, when they take the field and they, they go through all that? I think so. You know, I, I think that and, and the, the guys, uh, the, the returning players uh, know that. Uh, and, and what we look for when we're recruiting is that type of player as well. You know, the type of player that's used to winning, that's going to play hard, um, has it inside of him. Uh, to get it, just get it done, just doing whatever to get it done. Um, and then I guess just to be playing baseball here in, in a few weeks, how, how excited for you guys to, to be getting to do that? Oh, it, like I said, we've been waiting since May 19th, you know, to get it get started, and, and uh, you know, we're very excited. This is going to be a big year. Is there a bad taste in your guys' mouth with just how things went last year? or what? I mean, what's your take on that? Um, I don't know if it's a bad taste. It, it's just um, it was disappointing, um, but I think it was a matter of, 
newer players getting to know and getting used to everything and, and uh, first year guys, um, new players. Uh, so this year with everybody back, uh, with the exception of one, you know, that experience is really going to help this year. And I guess we did talk about the pitching a little bit, but offensively, you know, through the lineup and in the field, just kind of touch on on that area. The, the well, game. I'm real excited, you know, the couple first-year guys last year, Derek Carr and Jeremy Banks, getting a lot of good swings, a lot of that, a lot of plate appearances last year, and, and that's definitely going to help. But, you know, when you have uh, some power hitters, uh, you know, in the middle of the lineup, um, that got a lot of plate appearances last year. You know, you've got Eric Marzik going to come in to close out games, but he's also one of our top hitters as well. Jackie Healy be hitting third, um, and uh, you know Anthony Porter, uh, a lot of power there, a lot of experience the last several years. Looking for a big year out of him, um, and just going down the lineup, Joe Ikebuchi, um, and then C.J. Morris towards the end of the lineup. Um, but you know we're we have a we have more depth offensively as well as we do on the mound. We have that I feel uh, you know getting plate appearances from last year and then some new guys coming. Too. And, the, and then the last one, what's harder to to get rolling early, offensively hitting the ball or hitting your spots when you're on the mound? I think it's offensively. You know we we went live last Saturday um, and inside here and and uh, the pitchers are very much ahead of the hitters right now uh, and, and that was nice to see you know because that's what's going to have us win pitching and defense and to see our pitchers spot up uh, you know Tom Mapari assistant uh, coach pitching coach he's doing a great job with them and uh, but definitely the, the the pitching's ahead right now uh, but through constant work constant seeing now uh, the pitchers uh, you know, and, and something differently we're doing now with the hitters is um, we're keeping hitters logs, so they're able to see what they're doing and analyzing themselves uh, each plate appearance, and I think that's going to help out in the long run.